Hello and welcome to an episode of NDW Wrestling. It's been a while since I've done this, but we've got a big show for you today. In the main event, it is going to be Shockwave taking on the debuting Prodigal. Rockford Clifton and Robert Logan, the Squires, are taking on Jacqueline Snow and Pete Cottontail, Snow Bunny. Jet Black and Navy Blue. The Black and Blue crew are taking on Pit Viper and um, Captain Adam, the Treasure Hunters. Sorry, I haven't looked at these for a while and I blanked on his name. Buck Blake and Lance Romance, Team Deadly, with their manager John Heal, are taking on Romero and Vladimir Plasma, No Room in Hell, with their manager, Malefic Rage. If I could grab these. Mila Tweak is taking on Bombshell. And in our opening bout, it is Adam Prometheus against Bedbug. So let's get this show on the road. And we're going to roll for initiative here. And it is going to be Bedbug starting us off. Six, uh, Parasite Squeeze 2, choice A. And uh, let's see here. He's starred here. Opponent must have minus two power or better to do these moves. Oh, and Bedbug does. So he's going to send Adam Prometheus into the ropes here. He's going to roll eight on into the ropes B. So he hits a back elbow on Prometheus. He's going to roll on level two offense here. Four into the... Oh, six, sorry. Uh, in infestation submission three. Four. Down three, and Adam Prometheus is going to bail to the outside. And he's just going to... I think that's just a crawl back into the ring to beat the count. Let's look here. Yep, he just gets back into the ring to beat the count. Bedbug on level three offense here. Two out of the ring, and he can do that. So five on B. Okay, so Adam Prometheus is going to pull Bedbug out of the ring here, and we're going to say he's just going to toss him. Um, and, oh, nope. So, yeah, so that's a DQ roll there. He doesn't get DQ'd. He's going to toss... Going to Gorilla Press Bedbug back into the ring. Six. It's a live plus two. So Bedbug's got to beat a five here. And, oh, he gets it. Okay. Sorry. I'm a little off my game today. So he gets out of the It's Alive. Um, one, Lunging Clothesline. Three, Choice H. Adam Prometheus going to the top rope here, and he gets a Flying Clothesline on Bedbug. He's going to roll again. Four. Choke Slam. Three. One pin. He's got to beat a four here. Gets it. Easily gets out of that one. So Adam Prometheus still on level three offense here. Two out of the ring. So he's going to send Bedbug out of the ring. And out of the ring C. So they, they're they going to start brawling on the outside. We're going to see if both men get DQ'd here. Adam Prometheus is DQ'd. And we're going to see if Bedbug gets DQ'd. And he doesn't. So your winner of the match by DQ is Bedbug. Nice victory for Bedbug, that um, 6 DQ rating coming back to haunt Adam Prometheus. And we're going to go to our next bout of the day. And we're going to go to the women's division as it's going to be Mila Tweak against Bombshell. These women uh, getting some practice in before the women's title tournament in about a month. And jockeying for a better uh, seed in the tournament as well. So Mila is going to start us off here. Three. Um, diving clothesline two agility. So she's a plus. They're both plus two. So the move works. Six hurt two. Uh, four. Somersault kick two choice B. So she's going to send bombshell into the turnbuckle. Three on turnbuckle B. Opponent charges at you with a running shoulder dive. But you move and she goes crashing outside the ring. Mila is going to roll on out of the ring here. 
And she crashes to the outside. We're going to see if she gets DQ. I mean, counted out by the ref. She doesn't, but she's going to take fatigue. There, she gets back into the ring and bombshell. Rolls a six on level three. Blast radius plus one. So Mila's got to beat a six here. And she does. Nice uh, kick out there by Mila. Two death jumps. So bombshell going to the top here. Five on death jump B. Opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw her off the turnbuckle and into the ring. She goes down hard. So Mila on level um, three offense now. Four run of the mill suplex three. Four down three and bombshell bails to the outside. And she's just going to take a breather and crawl back into the ring. Uh, one running power slam two. Two bombshell two. Five, buckle bomb three, four, pin. She's got to beat a six here. And she doesn't get it. Your winner of the match with a buckle bomb is Bombshell. So Bombshell picking up a nice victory there in the women's division. And we're going to go on to our next bout. And it is going to be Buck Blake and Lance Romance. Team Deadly with their manager, John Heal. And they're taking on... Romero and Vladimir Plasma, no room in hell with their manager, Malefic Rage. So the managers are going to come out here to the outside to hang out. And we're going to roll to see who's going to start us off here. And it is going to be Buck Blake and Romero starting the match off for us. Okay, get everything back to... Square one here. That's a tie. And that's a tie again. Okay, Buck Blake's going to start us off here. Uh, one. Lockhorns, one. Four. Romero, two. Six. Bite, three. Add one. So we're going to add one to Buck Blake there. And he's going to run level three. Defense, two. Down, three. Uh, three out of the ring, so he's going to toss Buck out of the ring. And Romero's going to grab a chair here. And blasts uh, Buck Blake with it. And Romero's DQ'd for the chair shot. Well, no, let's see. So he's DQ'd here, but we're going to see if Malefic Rage causes some interference. And he does. Okay, so Buck Blake... So I should say No Room in Hell is still alive here. Thanks to Malefic Rage, and we're going to... He got one distraction there. So Romero on level three. One. Grapple to the ground, two. Choice C. Uh, so he's going to do the power version. He's going to play it safe here. And that's going to work on a 10 or less. Which, okay, so that works. Buck Blake's going to roll on level 2 defense here. 1, Buck Blake, 2. F4. Salt Lick Slam, 2. Choice F. And we're going to go for the safer agility version, which is a level 2 move. So this is going to work on an 11 or less. Oh, came real close to that not working. Okay, so he's going to roll on level 3 defense here. 6, down 3. Four, low blow three, five, hurt two, six, um, dust cloud three, add one. We're going to add one there. Oh, wrong one. Add one there, and we're going to roll his DQ, which is a four. Oh, and he gets DQ'd, but we're going to see if John Heal, and John Heal distracts the ref and prevents the DQ. Okay, so Romero is going to roll on level three defense there, five, hurt two. Um, two, charging headbutt, two. Two, Romero, one. Six, um, go for the throat three agility, which, um, obviously he's a plus four and Buck's a minus two, so Buck reverses that. Three into the ropes, so he's gonna send Romero into the ropes. So, nine on C. So, they hit a double clothesline, and they both have bad rope ratings, so they both have a C, but... Buck Blake actually recovers first, and he's going to roll on level three offense here. Two death jumps, so Buck Blake going to the top rope. 
nine on death jump um sees today fight over a superplex and because buck has a better agility rating he hits the superplex bucks on level three offense here so five pin using ropes we're gonna see if he gets dq'd which he doesn't and um this isn't gonna the, romero has a one right now so he's fine so he's got two fatigue. Lance Romance is coming in. Seeing if he can finish this off. Six by Felicia. So Romero's got to beat a four here. Which he just barely beats. Lance Romance. Five. The Crush. Three. Add one. So we're going to add one there. Romero rolling on level three defense. Five. Hurt two. Um, five. Two timing suplex. Three. Six down three, two, um, top rope, leg drop three, choice H. So Lance going to the top and he hits a cross body block on Romero here. Romero's got to beat a four, which he does. Romero's taking a lot of fatigue here though. Two, same thing. He's going back to the top and he's going to hit that cross body block again. Romero's got to beat a five and he does. Lance Six by Felicia. Okay, so Romero's got to beat Nate here. And he doesn't get it, but we're going to see if Malefic Rage stops the count. And he does. Okay, so Romero taking a fatigue here. That is all of their distractions for the match. Lance Romance on offense. He's going back to the top here. And nine on um, Death Jump uh, C. So... He has a better agility rating, so he's going to hit a superplex on Romero. Lance on level 3 offense here, going back to the top. And he's just going to hit a flying clothesline there. 6 by Felicia. So Romero's got to beat a 9. And he doesn't get it. Your winners of the match via the by Felicia, Buck Blake, and Lance Romance, Team Deadly. I think that might be the first time um, No Room in Hell is actually lost clean. So I'll have to look that up. Okay, so that was a nice tag match. A um, lot of manager involvement there. Uh, that's really made the managers more impactful since I've added their um, distractors for after matches or after the result. So we're going to go to our next mount match here, and it is going to be Jet Black. In navy blue against Pit Viper and Captain Adam. It's the black and blue crew versus the treasure hunters. Okay, so navy blue is going to start us off here against Captain Adam. And we're going to roll for initiative here. Captain Adam is going to start us off. Five. Inverted Atomic Drop 2 Agility. So he's a plus one. Navy Blue is a minus one. So Navy Blue is going to reverse that. And he's going to roll on level two offense. Five. Human Torpedo 3. One. Hurt 2. Six. From the Depths 3. One. Hurt 2. Six. From the Depths 3. Four. Hurt 2. Three. Into the Turnbuckle. Um... Let's go for it. We'll live a little dangerously here. So eight on turnbuckle A. Uh, you're smashed by a big kick by the opponent. Navy blue is going to roll on level two offense here. Six from the depths. Three, four hurt two. Uh, three into the turnbuckle. We'll live a little dangerously again. Okay, four on turnbuckle A. Opponent charges at you with a running shoulder dive, but you move and he goes crashing outside the ring. Navy Blue is going to roll on out of the ring. Okay, nine. On out of the ring, B. So Navy Blue takes a breather, gets back into the ring, and Captain Adam is on level three offense here. Uh, six, that'd be a downgrade, plus one. So Navy Blue's got to beat a two here, which he does. Captain Adam pressing the advantage. Two death jumps. So Captain Adam going to the top here. Hits a flying clothesline on Navy Blue. Three out of the ring. So he's going to toss Navy Blue out of the ring. And Navy Blue's just going to crawl back in to beat the count. And Captain Adam on level three offense here. Three out of the ring. He's going to toss Navy Blue out again. Same thing. Navy Blue 
um, just crawls back in to beat the count. And Pit, Vi Pit Viper is going to come in here on level 3 offense. 5. River Snake Bite 3. Add once. We're going to add 1 to Navy Blue's pin rating. 2. Pin. He's got to be to 3 here. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Your winners of the match are Captain Adam and Pit Viper. Nice victory for the treasure hunters there. And the black and blue crew really have had an up and down career in my NDW. And they continue to struggle as a team. So we're going to go to our next bout of the day. And it's going to be Rockford Clifton. And Robert Logan, the Squires and former NDW Tag Team Champions, taking on Jacqueline Snow and Pete Cottontail. The Squires versus Snow Bunny. So let's roll to see who's going to start us off here. Okay, so it is going to be um, Rockford Clifton and Pete Cottontail. Snow Bunny is coming off of a failed challenge for the NDW Tag Team Titles. And the Squires are looking to get a shot to recapture the belt. So Pete Cottontail is going to start us off. Two Rabbit Punch one. Four Rockford Clifton two. Four into the turnbuckle. So he's going to send Pete Cottontail into the turnbuckle. Pete's actually going to reverse that and send Rockford into the turnbuckle. And Pete's going to hit a kick in the corner. So Pete Cottontail on level two offense here. Uh, one side headlock to power. Rockford's a minus one. Pete's a plus one. So Rockford reverses that and he's on level two offense. Five wall breaker three. Two hurt two. Two neck breaker two. Six hurt two. Five wall breaker three. Four pin. Pete's got to beat a three here. And he does. And we're going to tag Robert Logan in here. So Robert on level three offense, uh, one overhead toss two three choice H and let's see what the choices are here. Blind elbow drop, which is going to work on it. Um, we're going to go for the death jump, even though it's an A. So Robert going to the top here four on death jump a opponent comes off the top with an awesome cross body block, but you counter with a specialty move. It's up to you. Opponent rolls pin. So we'll just say um, Pete rolls through here and Robert's got to be the two, which he does. That was a little close for comfort, though. So Pete Cottontail is on level three offense here Four bunny hop three, six down three. We're going to bring Jacqueline Snow in here and she's going to see if she can finish this off Four. Arctic attack three, four down three, two death jump. So it's Jacqueline Snow coming off the top rope. Nine on death jump B. Opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. Um, you're in trouble. Jacqueline Snow is going to roll on level three offense here. Three out of the ring. And she's going to toss Robert Logan out of the ring. And he's just going to take a breather. And crawl back in to beat the count. Jacqueline Snow. Five. Uh, flurry of kicks. Three. Four down three. And we're going to bring Pete Cottontail back in. See if he can finish this off. Six. Bad egg plus two. Okay. So we're going to see if Robert can beat a five here. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Your winners of the match. Are Jacqueline Snow and Pete Cottontail. That is a massive upset. I should have used the I should have used the the pin save there, but I wasn't thinking that a 5 was too dangerous. Okay, so Snow Bunny picks up a big victory this week over the Squires. So it is time for the main event, and it is going to be Shockwave taking on Prodigal. Prodigal making his NDW debut and we're going to roll to see who's going to start us off, which is going to be Prodigal. Uh, four, football tackle to power. Shockwave's a minus four. Prodigal's a minus three. So Shockwave reverses that four. Um, Cygnus slam three agility. So this, we're going to go for the, um, or, sorry, choice E. 
So he's going to go for the agility version, which is going to work on a nine or less. Okay, so he gets that. Prodigal's going to roll on level three defense. One, hurt two. Two, press slam two. Six, prodigal one. Um, six, specter suplex three, agility. So that's going to work. Six, hurt two. Four, charging lance three. Three down three, and shockwave's going to bail to the outside here. And he's actually going to pull Prodigal out of the ring with him and just pummel him with some big clubbing forearms and toss him back in. Shockwave is on level three offense here. Two, death jump. So Shockwave's going to go to the top. So 10 on death jump A. So they are going to fight over a superplex, but Prodigal has a better agility rating, so he hits the superplex. Prodigal on level three offense. Six, Camelot Crush plus two let's see okay so that's a plus two move so shockwave's got to beat a four here and he does prodigal on level three offense um five into the shadows three add one so shockwave's gonna add one to his pin rating here and he's gonna roll on defense six hurt two um three forearm smash two choice b let's see what choice b is so he's going to go for a standing drop kick, which is going to work on an 11 or less here. Okay, so he hits that. And Shockwave is going to roll on level 2 defense. 3, hurt 2. Uh, 4, charging lance 3. 3, down 3. And Shockwave is going to bail to the outside here. And 9 on out of the ring. He's just going to take a breather and crawl back in to beat the count. And um, Prodigal is going to toss him back out to the outside and prodigal is going to grab a chair here and he's going to smash uh, shockwave with it doesn't get dq'd prodigal tosses shockwave back into the ring four prodigal power slam three one hurt two uh one standing drop kick two agility two dazed one six uh specter suplex three agility i don't think uh, Shockwave wanted that to happen. Two, Hurt Two. Two, Sidewalk Slam Two. One, Shockwave Two. Um, five, Battle City Blast Three. Three, Hurt Two. Five, Battle City Blast Three. Four, Pin. Prodigal's got to beat a two here, which he does. Shockwave on level three offense. Oh, that bad roll there. Hip toss into Turnbuckle Two. Three, Hurt Two. Five, battle, uh, battle Cry Blast 3. Two, down three, and Prodigal's going to bail to the outside here. And he catches um, Shockwave with a big kick on the outside and tosses him back into the ring. Prodigal on level three offense. Four, Prodigal Power Slam 3. Two, Hurt 2. Uh, four, Charging Lance 3. Two, Hurt 2. Two, Sidewalk Slam 2. Three, Hurt Two. Six, um, Night School Slam Three. Five, Pin, he's got to beat a four. Ooh, he just barely kicks out of that one. So, Prodigal. Six, Camelot Crush Plus Two. So, Shockwave has to beat a seven here. Oh, and he gets it. Okay, nice roll for Shockwave. Six, Camelot Crush again. So, he's got to beat an eight here. And he just barely gets out of that one. Four, Prodigal Power Slam three. Four, Hurt two. Uh, four, Charging Lance three. Five, Pin. He's got to beat a seven. And he does. Okay. Shockwave getting really beat up here, though. One, Full Nelson Driver three. Choice G. So Prodigal going to the top rope here. And he's going to hit a flying clothesline on Shockwave. Prodigal on level 3. Offense 6. Camelot Crush plus 2. So Shockwave's got to be the 10 here. And he doesn't get it. Your winner with the Camelot Crush is Prodigal. Nice um, debut for Camelot on this week's show. So thank you for joining me as always. And I will catch you next time.